week's chapter of One Piece, the Straw Hat Pirates prepare to escape from Dressrosa Kingdom and an octopus travels to the very depths of <laughs> Nami's cleavage. Well, obviously you were a fan of the color page this week, Corey. Yeah, I was. That, that whole opening page is already really funny. Just everybody hanging out with them. But yeah, I never wanted to be an octopus more than that one that is hanging out we don't, on Nami's chest. We don't need to go any farther into that topic, though. I think the audience gets it. They yeah. You know, Corey. Tentacles Nami. are involved. Anime. We're fans. So anyway, in this chapter, <laughs> this chapter was subpar. I'm going to be straight up with you guys. Not because I wasn't, it wasn't cool to see some old characters come back. You know, it wasn't cool to see that old granny Navy lady, you know. Huh? <laughs> what? The problem is we just had Kaido last week and now we got, you know, we're back to dress Rosa and they're like, oh, we're putting everything together. And the Marines are like, look, we kind of really got to go after the straw hats. Mm -hmm. Like we got to at least keep the appearance up. And, you know, there's Fuji Tori's like, but I keep rolling the dice, and it's one, so I can't go. And they're like, oh, damn, them dice. You know? <laughs> and then, what do you think, Corey? Like, like, uh, yeah. Kind of the same boat. You know, last week's chapter was so monumental. It was the introduction of uh, one of the Yonko freaking Kaido, who made... Not in a, Warlords. Not Warlords. I read those comments. Yeah, we fucked that up. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Uh, you know, he made his big entrance, he was getting ready to fight against the Eustace Kid, and Basil Hawkins, and Scratchman, and I was like, oh my god, next week is going to be the one, guys, this yes. is going to be epic, and they don't even address Kaido this week, this is really all about the end of Dressrosa, even though it technically ended a couple of chapters ago, as far as, far as I'm concerned, once Doflamingo was done, I'm like, alright, next start, let's do it, but you know, <laughs> this on is one ship. piece. Get moving. <laughs> um, on the upside, though, it doesn't look like they're going to be just like celebrating in Dressrosa for like a couple of days, like they're literally being forced out of the kingdom. My favorite thing about the chapter, though, was probably just all the scenes with Bartolomeo and the fact that he's the one who's, like, really helping them escape. He's getting them their very own personal ship, and he's also got all the other fighters from Karita Coliseum who are wearing cloaks, and they're all hiding around Dressrosa, and they're gonna help out the Straw Hats as they're making their way through the city into their brand new ship. I can't wait to see what it's gonna be. Hopefully it's gonna be something really cool and something maybe they can even add to the Thousand Sunny, maybe something they can dock inside of it. I don't know. Maybe there could be a surprise here, but really this is just all about them getting ready to leave Dressrosa escape the marines and luffy's getting ready to go do one more special thing which i'm guessing is he's going to meet up with uh, rebecca and just say his final goodbyes you know thank you know and she's going to thank him for saving the kingdom and everything of course rebecca's a pretty important character in this week's chapter because there's a huge rumor going around dress rosa that kiros actually spread himself which is all about rebecca's uh, parents explaining that scarlet was actually married to some prince from another kingdom they both died he doesn't want anybody to know that he was around, despite the fact that during this massive battle, a one-legged soldier was running around just knocking the shit out of everybody. Uh, but still, I can't wait to see what they're going to do with Kiros. If he's just going to turn into this, like, weird drifter, maybe he will go with the Straw Maybe he'll, like, the Batman of Dressrosa. He'll mm -hmm. be the, the Avenger of the night. Yeah. You know? <laughs> the night that Dressrosa needs. I don't the know. The night that Dressrosa you know that's deserves. That. <laughs> exactly. You know, I think that's kind of, I don't think he's going anywhere. Mm -hmm. One, Rebecca and him are kind of, uh, he watches over her, so mm -hmm. he's definitely staying there. Uh, I find the king, you know, he's sort of accepting his role pretty mm -hmm. well. We're seeing sort of that develop. And let's be honest, some of these developments are things we need to see. Yeah. But Bellamy, Bellamy. for instance. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's he's, he's alive and well. Princess Mancherry has healed he, him. He reminded me so much of Vegeta in this. He's like, oh, yeah, I have no time. reason to die now. So, you know, <laughs> he's like, he needs an epic death or he won't mm -hmm. let himself die. For all we know, he, he could join the Straw Hat Pirates. Um, he has a unique gimmick. You know, his powers are cool. He's had enough interactions with the crew at this point, And, you know, Doflamingo. Mingo family's gone at this point. He really has nowhere else to go. You know, maybe he has been influenced to the point by Luffy that he could be the next Straw Hat. And that's another thing I got while reading this week's chapter. Just, is there going to be a new Straw Hat from this arc? Is there not? Is Bartolomeo just going to abandon his crew and try to join the Straw Hat Pirates? Is he just going to be like the Bond Clay of this arc and we're never really going to see exactly him again? That's exactly what I was about to say. Is he just this, you know, temporary Straw Hat, mm -hmm. almost? You yeah, know? like Vivi. Yeah. You know, she was with the crew for a long time. She's kind of an unofficial member, but, you know, she doesn't travel with them all the time. Uh, we may see her again but as where, well. where is Bar Bartolomeo needed if he's not with the Straw Hats? That's the reason I say I don't know. But you can make the same case with some of the other characters. Because mm -hmm. they're, you know, guys they were with were defeated, but they still went and did their own thing. Mm -hmm. So, I still think Bartolomeo is the best candidate. Mostly. Oh, without a doubt. Like, yeah. if there was, if I had to choose, like, a, an end-all, be-all from this arc, it would be Bartolomeo. And he was funny in this week's chapter, especially when he's hanging out with them all in, like, one room. He was, like, the beam of epicness. Like, he was being blinded by it if they were all in one room together. <laughs> so but, his eyeballs would melt or something yeah. like that. He's like, it would, I couldn't handle it. 
And yeah, but again, um, there's good stuff. But man, they set the bar so high last week. Mm-hmm. I'm just. Uh, uh, I'm only going to give this one a 3 out of 5. Me too. 3 out of 5. It was an average chapter. Despite the fact that it wasn't that exciting, it was still a pretty good read. Uh, there were still some funny moments. It was cool to see certain characters. But after last week's, it was just kind of a disappointment. But maybe this will expand a little bit more in the grander scheme of things. Maybe next week we'll just really pop off. We're just going to have to wait and see. But as of this week, this week's chapter is just okay. Yeah, so definitely read it if you're a fan of the series and you want to see where it's going after Dressrosa. Mm-hmm. But uh, overall, not the craziest chapter of One Piece. Uh, you know, it's just the beginning of Luffy's goodbyes of Dressrosa. And maybe him halfway fighting Fujitora or something like that mm-hmm. going on. But definitely Luffy's not going to get captured or anything no. like that. None of that's going on. But uh, yeah, so check it out if you want. Also, if you guys want to support our channel, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we have a podcast called The Powerful Nerdcast that we do once a week. It is on iTunes, YouTube, and our favorite um, podcast distribution network called RogueIntel.com. So you can check it out there as well. And if you want to support the channel, we have a PayPal link where you can donate. And if you don't want to do that, we have an Amazon Associates link that you can click. It'll take you to Amazon. Anything you buy, Amazon will pay us. And you don't have to do anything. You just buy stuff on Amazon like normal. So it's a good way to help us out without actually having to do a damn thing thing. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, let's stay dandy, baby.